Grats. So we're going to take a look at a squad of Grats, and specifically, we're going to look at Arrow Grats. Oh, Arrow Grats. So let's see here. Arrow Grats, of course, from Utgar. Um, they ha they're an orc uh, common squad, archers, wild, a medium for beast bonding. Before taking a turn with Arrow Grats, you may first take a tor turn with any beast you control. They have disengage. Allow uh, arrow grats are never attacked when leaving an engagement. They have one life, six spaces, uh, move six spaces range, attack one, defense one. So how how about these guys? When it comes to or, well, uh, this, I think spider poison. Um, in my opinion, was was probably the best hero escape player ever. Um, um, he won his very first Gen Con with these guys. Mm. Um, the one, you know, you're like, oh, the one one that's that that's pretty horrible. And you're like, you're, it is um, six move. They're often gonna, you know, six move is pretty good. They're gonna have height, but you have to. But then the Swag Riders buff them, and they bond with the Swag Riders. They bond with Krug. Krug's an amazing mm -hmm. figure. Right. They bond with Mimring. Mimring is great, and they also bond with the Ice Troll Berserkers. And the Ice Troll Berserkers are actually really strong. Um, an attack of five that heals every turn is really great. Let's see. So, yeah, there they are. Yeah, they right they have a lot of solid options. And, and then the swags would give them plus one attack and plus one defense. And then they, they even actually work with Nirak. Not that that's ever going to match. I mean, you're not going to have Nirak in the same army as these guys because <laughs> it's a totally different uh, bonding. Right. If they have their blades. But, but yeah, these guys are great. Um, one of the very few uh, range bonding squads. Um, the Mohicans, kind of, and then uh, Green Scales, kind of. So, um, but the Green Scales don't shoot, but the person they bond with does. But yeah, so, um, so, so that's pretty unique. These guys, I think they're wave one, right? Yeah, remember, really, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's wave one. Yeah, so they're wave one. So, um, you know, Krug, Krug, Krug is just classic hero skate figure, like of all, like, right. so Absolutely. you guys are really solid. Um, they're a little tricky to play sometimes because you got to try and set up the, the swag pods or you can try and get multiple arrow grets adjacent to swags and trying to put them on height to kind of move your swags but then if you're moving your swags you're not moving Krug or Mimring or the mm -hmm. Ice Troll so, so there, there is some finesse to playing these guys um, I could see Raylan being played with them but I won't say that out loud to anybody <laughs> um, Makes, it makes some sense to me. Oh, I'd argue that three swags might be better. But anyway, it really depends on the rest of, or even the ice. No, that'd be fine. I, I it's really kind of depends on the less of what you're doing. But yeah, so I think these are these these are solid figures. These are very good figures. I I would agree with that. Yeah, and at forty points, really is 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 yeah. not is not too shabby for that. I mean, not much to add to what he said. They're, I think they're one of the most fun. Figures to play just the fact you can bond with Mimring and uh, Krug. I mean, you can have both, however many beasts you want in your army, and you can be going back and forth. And like you said, they're a little tricky, especially with Mimring because he's got his fire line. So a little tough to use the fire line to its full effect and not shoot one of your own figures. But mm. you know, take some finesse setting up with swags and with Mimring and everything. But you know, I thought about him for. ScapeCon uh, RTW a couple years ago and pretty much shot him down right away. It's being way too strong. But. Yeah, and they're in the, they're in the, the the championship draft pool. They're in the Utgar draft pool this year. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think there's three squads of them in there. But yeah, no, they're very mm. solid, very solid unit. Um, yeah, like I said, I think the very first GenCon championship, Spider Poison won. These guys. What did he bond with? Remember? Swags and Krug and Raylan. Swags, Krug, Raylan. And Raylan in there, too. I remember, it might have been like 3-3, three, three, Krug, Raylan, but I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I, I really think you can't go wrong with orcs or, or building orc army. They, they are a little, like, when it comes to price range, they kind of are on the expensive side, especially, like, um, the, you know, the, the, the melee gruts. Um, they, and, like, the heavy gruts. I mean, they can get pretty expensive, um, but... Um, they're the, talking money, money wise to buy. Yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah talk, talking fine. Yeah, heavy gruts especially are difficult. The blade gruts and them, I want to think those are terribly expensive, but 
I haven't bought either of those in a long time or look, so I'm not sure. And so, so your Vol nurse is asking opinion on heavy gruts for just a second, because <laughs> we'll cover well, that sometime in the future. But I mean, yeah, heavy gruts are. Heavy gruts, Grimnack are one of the best. Of the yeah, game. one of the best armies in the game. Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I would agree with that. I got decimated a time or two Escapecon last year with um, Mr. Mr. Chompy himself. So, yep, yep, absolutely. If there's, uh, I wouldn't buy that necessarily. There's a eBay listing for four squads of arrows, five swags, and Krug for two thirty. Mm. Um, so a little expensive. I mean, that's something yeah. that would probably turn somebody away if you were just getting into it because you're like, oh, I'm not going to spend two hundred thirty dollars on mm -hmm. army. Um, somebody has them for thirty five, thirty seven dollars for just a squad, thirty five. So. Looks like they're running between 35 to 40 with shipping, eBay, a squad Sounds with the card, right. which isn't terrible, but um, I mean, that makes that uh, it, combo it, lot actually not too bad. Yeah, it depends on what you want to invest in, but they, they are fun, especially when you get, I mean, especially when you get Grimneck in, in the mix with them, you know, you just... Like I said, I think you guys are right when you say you got to give it some finesse. You got to you got to think strategically when it comes to keeping your distance as well as meleeing with these guys. Depending on if you got both like arrow and then and then heavy and then maybe grimneck um, and like I said, a swag rider or two. Um, but I think very dependable armies, especially when getting started with the game. I mean, you're looking at a lot of attacks every round because you're mm -hmm. looking at you know, with the bonding or you know, you're looking at five attacks with Krug, then however many you can hit with Fireline. Mm hmm. Right, with, with Krug and Mingri as well. And Ice, Ice Troll Berserker. I can't wait to, to take a look at that. That's going to be a little while before we. we um, yeah, Ice Troll is a very tall figure. He's just, he just overshadowed by Krug and Mingri. Mm hmm. Okay. Right. I mean. And swag riders, right? So by the time he came out, there's already three pretty established beasts for the progress to bond with. So, sure. All right. Well, how about I hop into a little bit of the let's see here, some of the lore, the character bio for Aerogrets. So there's Aerogrets. I mean, what what can you say about orcs really? That haven't hasn't already been said in different you know realms of lore all over the place, but. It says here, Aerogrets, the archers of the orc army, have always attended, or, yeah, have always attended the orc cavalry, trained from a young age in the art of archery. That's a wonderful play of words there. Aerogrets are fiercely loyal to their cavalry, cavalry leaders and show little concern for their own safety. While Aerogrets are not particularly good fighters or defenders, their sheer numbers and their ferocity are intimidating to the enemy and are often very effective in protecting and preserving their cavalry commanders. And I guess the one more thing, Ryan, is a disengage is a big deal too. And they do oh yeah. Disengage. Oh yeah. I, I yeah I would agree. If they got to run away, you know, if someone's trying to melee them, then you get a chance for them to skedaddle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I I would I would definitely agree with that. So let's see here. <laughs> Um, and Vault Nurse says, says at the end here, they are cooler riding dinosaurs and mean cats. Yeah, uh huh, mm hmm. Yeah, and hopefully we see more of that in the future too. I, I you know, to just build on Orc Army's Renegade. Yeah, well, give it, give us some more orcs. Give us some orcs riding some more stuff. That would be tons of fun for sure. Because yeah, I mean, even that bio mentions. Or cavalry, which we got the orc cavalry and the swag riders, but mm -hmm. cool to get, you know, like a squad that they it also would. work with or have Yes. Or yes. But... I agree. I agree. So that is uh, basically orc gruts. Um, yeah, and if you're if anybody's out there is considering um, using orcs as far as armies when it comes to uh, like playing casually or, or um, via um, championships or you know whatever. Um, definitely consider these guys and, and check them out in Books of Heroescape.